I'm on the board of a trust which runs a number of schools, many of them faith schools. Until this weekend, they were all Muslim. But from this morning, a Christian school has joined the trust, and I'm one of the people who has the task of making Christianity real there. It's quite a challenge. What's going to be distinctive about this school, we were asked? What's the theology which underpins it? Theology, we all thought. Isn't that something people study at university? If you're a Christian listening to this postcard, maybe you'll think about what your answer would be. One of my colleagues went to the Psalms. Not a lengthy exercise because she found part of her answer in Psalm 1. The image of the people who meditate on God's law being like trees planted by water, which bear fruit and prosper. That is what we should want for everyone in and around the school. It reminded me of an experience on a walking trip to the Azores. On Fayal, there's an area which was devastated by a volcano around the time I was born and has still not recovered. You can see the dividing line between the parched and arid land left behind and the lush green of the land fed by rivers and streams. There's plenty of parched and arid land around us in the world today. But there are places of life and hope and we should treasure and care for them. God of love, may we drink your living waters and be your people, greening your world. Amen.